Hazy skies over the Lansing skyline again today. Canada wildfire smoke making the air difficult to breathe, putting people's health at risk. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich with the haze brings unhealthy air quality. News 10's Jordan Burrell is here now to tell us how one community organization is helping out. Meteorologists at the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy have issued air quality alerts for most of mid-Michigan through tomorrow. In Lansing, the air quality level is ranked as unhealthy, meaning everyone can experience health effects from the haze and sensitive groups like those with asthma or the elderly can experience serious health effects. With Canadian wildfire smoke still wafting across mid-Michigan, air quality alerts have been extended through Thursday. For people who are health compromised, the poor air quality can have very serious effects. Well, I have a hard time breathing anyway because I have asthma, COPD, I'm diabetic. Um, my van don't have air conditioning. Wayne Mundy of Jackson says he's been living out of his car, unable to keep the windows up because of the summer heat. Just breathing a little abnormal probably because of the air, but I can't keep my windows up. It gets too hot in there. At Holy Cross Services in Lansing, they want to make sure everyone is staying safe, but especially the homeless community. When people are unhoused, it just exposes them to a number of health conditions. Asthma, COPD, lung and heart disease are just some of the diseases the smoky conditions will make worse. The air and the quality of air that they breathe is really crucial to that. And so um, we hope that they would um, take um, some measures to get themselves inside to, you know, get some respite from those conditions. Holy Cross is offering masks to those who have no choice but to stay outside. We're offering masks because we know with this type of air quality, we, people have different um, breathing conditions, you know, be it COPD or asthma, allergies even. So um, a mask is truly going to be important that they use during this time. And then we're also offering water because, you know, keeping hydrated is going to also be key. Again, the air quality alert continues through tomorrow. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services advises everyone to avoid strenuous outdoor activities and keep your trips outdoors short. 